Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in size 4 medium and the crochet hook in size 5 millimeters. I'll start by making a slip knot. And then I'll chain 4. Now that I chained 4 on the last chain from the hook, I'll make 12 double crochet. This 3 chain replaces 1 double crochet, so we'll make 11 more. To complete row 1, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1. For row 2, I'll chain 3, then through that same chain I'll make 2 double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make 3 double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make three double crochet. And in row two, we have to make three double crochet through every double crochet from a previous row. To complete row 2, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. For row 3, I'll use yarn in different color. So right here through this first double crochet chain, I insert the hook, then through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain 1, then through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. Now. For this next chain, I'll make one extended single crochet. So to make one extended single crochet, we have to go right here to this first row. Insert a hook there, wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through. And then we'll just continue this. So now, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. So you see here in the previous row we made uh, three double crochet through that uh, one chain from the previous row. And here for row three, we made, through this three double crochet, I made first single crochet, then extended single crochet, then third single crochet. So we have done now with this first set of three double crochet. Now through this next crochet chain I'll make one single crochet. Again, now one row below through that same chain, I'll make one extended single crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. One row below through that same chain, I'll make one extended single crochet. And through this next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. One row below through that same chain, I'll make one extended single crochet. Then through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, through this next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Now, through that same chain, one row below, I'll make one extended single crochet. And through the next chain, 
I'll make one single crochet. Through the next chain, one single crochet. Through the same chain, one row below, one extended single crochet. And through the next chain, one single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now to finish row three, through his next single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row three. Now for row four, I'll chain one, then through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. Through the next chain, one single crochet. Through the next chain, one single crochet. Through the next chain, one single crochet. So this next chain, one single crochet. So this is one, two, three, four. So for row four, we'll continue making one single crochet through every chain. To complete row 4, right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 4. Now for row 5, I'll chain 5. Then through the same chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain two, then through that same chain I'll make one double crochet. I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain two, and through the same chain, I'll make one double crochet. I'll skip the next two chains, and through the third chain, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain two, and through the same chain, I'll make one double crochet. I'll skip the next two chains, and through the third chain, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain two. Then through the same chain, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row five. Now to complete row five, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Now for row six, right here through this loop, through this two double crochets, not through the two chain loop, but through this two double crochets. I insert the hook, then through this slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain one, then through the same loop, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain one. Now through the next two chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Three double crochet. one half double crochet and then I'll chain one now 
right here between these next two double crochets I'll make one single crochet again I'll chain one through this next two chain loop I'll make one half double crochet three double crochet one half double crochet then I'll chain one now right here between these next two double crochets right through that loop I'll make one single crochet again I'll chain one through this next two chain loop I'll make one half double crochet through the same two chain loop I'll make three double crochet Through the same two chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Then I'll chain one, then right here through this loop between these next two double crochet, I'll make one single crochet. I'll repeat this throughout row six. To complete row six, I'll chain one, then right here through a single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Now I'll weave these ends in. It's uh, six inches wide. This is all for today guys and I'll see you next time with another video.